Hello and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is September the 15th, 2021 and I want to show you here how the rose bushes are doing. So uh, we're going to be taking a walk through here. I'm going to show you um, what's blooming. I'm going to talk about one of my new favorite varieties that I see really has a lot of blooms on it. So I'm going to walk down through here. So we're starting, these here are the knockout roses here. You can see we have quite a few blooms coming on these. And this one here is the peach, the knockout peachy. And we have the cherry reds here. This one has quite a bit of blooms coming on it. And these here are the double cherry knockouts here. All of my knockout roses that I have are the doubles. I like the blooms of the doubles. We're having a little bit of an issue with the powdery mildew, but it appears to have um, corrected itself, which is always nice. But the rose bushes are really growing for me, which I'm really happy about that. We have another knockout cherry one here. Now this one here is another peachy one. This one has a lot of new growth coming on it. And with all this new growth is going to come new blooms. Like here's a bloom just starting right down in here. Now these are being all fed, all of my roses are being fed with the Job's Knockout Rose Food. And um, because I'm gardening at Pennsylvania in Zone 5B, uh, because we're in September, I'm not feeding them anymore. I stopped feeding them in August because, um, you know, the plants are going to be do the plants are going to be going dormant soon because of the winter coming. So I don't want to be, you know, pumping them up on plant food. You can see here's a bloom coming right here. And here's some coming here. Now, uh, knockout roses and some different rose bushes, they kind of can bloom in like, I call them flushes, because you'll get like a big flush of blooms and then they kind of regenerate themselves and they start blooming again. So I'm gonna show you some of my other rose bushes that I have blooming. So this rose bush here is an Easy Elegance Pinktopia. And look at this thing, it is loaded with blooms it just like exploded in bloom here and these things have been pretty much blooming um non-stop since i planted them now this is the first time i've ever grown the easy elegance roses but i love the blooming power that they have of them there's a praying mantis there we have a lot of praying mantises around this year and all of these rose bushes have grown quite a bit since uh, we put them in earlier this year. But I love the blooms of these. It's a real pretty double bloom on them. And uh, it seems to bloom quite a bit. It has a lot of new growth on it. And a lot of them have, they bloom like multiple blooms on one top stem. So I'm really happy and pleased with this variety from what I'm seeing so far. And I have another one over here. This is another Pinktopia Easy Elegance here. Now this one here doesn't have quite as many blooms. I've been harvesting the blooms off of it. You can see here where I took some off. But it has a lot of new growth coming out and it has a lot more blooms coming on it. And we have the blooms over here coming here you can see here this one stem here has one two three has four blooms coming like at the top of it so that's really nice and they seem to have a very long blooming season like i said i do cut the blooms off of them and um, i remove 
like uh, the um, the seed pods off of them if I happen to miss a bloom on them. And here's another Easy Elegance Rose here. This one here, I believe, is called uh, Mystic Fairy. I think that's the name of this one here. It has the blooms coming up at the top. These are smaller roses on this one here. Like, the blooms are much smaller. But um, they're normally, like, doubled, sort of. It's um, it, Think of it kind of like a, a carpet rose sort of bloom to it, in my opinion. But lots of new growth on it, and this one here is going to, you know, start blooming again. You can see all these new blooms coming here, and that's exactly what I need these things to be doing here. And there's a caterpillar there who's eating my blooms, so that's going to get taken off of there. He's going to eat the blooms, so eat the foliage, so I don't want him on there. And this one here is another easy elegance. This one here is Paint the Town. And you can see this one here has sort of like hybrid tea rose blooms to it. And they're really pretty. I love the double full blooms of them. Now this one here has a little bit of yellow foliage. Um, it's probably running a little low on plant food. But because we're so late in the season and because our frost is going to be coming soon, I can't feed it because I don't want the plant to be thinking of blooming. I want it to kind of be thinking about, you know, going sort of dormant soon. But you can see this here is another one that's loaded with blooms coming. Beautiful blooms here. Let me show you here. Here's some more down here. And it has a lot of the blooms like at the top. You can see it's like a multiple bloomer at the top. I, I love this one here. And this one here is Screaming Neon. This is another Easy Elegance Rose here. Now this was nowhere near this big when we first planted it. And this thing grew quite a lot. This one here is a single bloom. We can see the pretty blooms on it here. And it has a lot of blooms coming on it. Lots of new growth. And it seems to be a very fast uh, growing variety. You can see down here. This one here is just starting to open, and it has the other blooms over there. And then this one here is an Ingrid Bergerman Rose. Now this is a hybrid tea rose here. And this has beautiful, like, red velvet blooms to it, sort of. Um, it has a lot of, it has like some uh, black streaks in it, in the blooms, sort of. Very dark red rose here. You can see here. Here's some more of the um, black streaks in it there. I did a video on this variety in particular. You can see that on my channel. But this one here has actually been blooming pretty good. Which I'm really happy about that. And for this one here, for the hybrid tea roses, I definitely take like the spent blossoms off. And I have been cutting them. Now this one here had some damage. Something ate it, unfortunately. That's a shame. I want my rose blooms. But you can see it has new blooms coming on it. Your hybrid tea roses, typically, um, they're not going to bloom like your other ones down that way. Like the knockout roses and the easy elegance roses. But I'm really happy with how much this one here is blooming compared to some of my other hybrid tea roses. So, like I said, these were all fed with the Job's Knockout Rose Food, which I'll put a link down in the description for that. And we put that in when we planted them. And I have videos on my channel for how to plant um, the hybrid tea roses, the Easy Elegant Shrub Roses, and the Knockout Roses. So you can check those videos out on my channel um, there's a little search thing if you go on my channel and you can just type in um, like what you're searching for and it'll bring it right up for you um, on my uh, channel page. So um, I did quite a lot of uh, videos this year for the roses, but I'm really happy with the varieties that I selected. I love the blooms of them and uh, I look forward to seeing how these do over the winter time. 
and into spring and um, like I said you know you can watch me first plant of these and when I did like the tour of uh, when these were first done they were pretty small and short but they really grew which I'm really happy about that we had a lot of rain which helped them out for them to establish their root systems in and uh, we did have some days where we had to water them because it the rain kind of stopped and then it got really dry on us but you know I'm really pleased with how well they're doing so I am going to be coming back with update videos on these and um, you know really looking forward to seeing what they look like in uh, the springtime after fall or, yeah <laughs> After fall, after winter, sorry about that, after winter like is over and uh, everything starts growing back out again. I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing, you know, how they look and how well they do. I will be coming back with videos on uh, feeding them then when uh, we get them fed. This variety here, the Pinktopia, is supposed to be hardy to, I believe, zone 4. So, um, we're growing in zone 5. So that should have a really cold hardiness to it. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. That tires I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.